Welcome. Today we'll be looking at the Olight ArcFlex, comparing it to its big brother, the Olight Arcfeld Pro, and determining if it's good enough to be in your E2C arsenal. In the ArcFlex box, you'll get the ArcFlex, a charging cable, a safety warnings, and a user manual. And it all comes in the standard high quality Olight packaging. If we take a quick look at the light and its major features, you have a very large pocket clip, which we'll talk more about in a little bit, a side switch for the power, and its main feature, the 90 degree flexible head. So we look at the size of the light is four and a quarter inches in length, just over 1.1 inches wide and just over half an inch deep, which is 108 by 30 by 12 millimeters. It weighs 3.5 ounces or 101 grams, and it has a built-in 1050 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt internal battery, which takes roughly an hour and 40 minutes to charge from zero to full. The ArcFlex is IPX7 rated and drop tested to one meter. It has a maximum output of 1900 candela and a max throw of 85 meters. When you get the light, it'll be locked out. Press the button and you'll see this one red LED light up. You need to hold the light for four seconds for it to come out of lockout mode. This will bring you to moonlight, which is 1.5 lumen and lasts for 10 days. Low is 15 lumen and lasts for 38 hours. Medium is 100 lumen for six hours and 50 minutes. High is 400 lumen for 90 minutes, then 60 lumen for 10 minutes. And turbo, accessible by double pressing, is 1000 lumen for four minutes then 400 lumen for 90 minutes the light also has a strobe available via triple pressing if we look at the head of the unit you'll see that it has two main led emitters which both operate at the same time and this 90 degree swiveling head the swiveling head has a fairly strong detent which means the light will take either two hands or one hand gripping the light to move it but it will also stay in place. The light does use Olight's proprietary magnetic charging and comes with a charging cable in the box. The magnet on the Arkfeld Flex is fairly strong and is strong enough to hold itself up against any ferrous surface. While testing the USB charging, I noticed that the light does pass through power. If you look at the light, it is currently trickle charging at about 0.2 amps. If I turn on turbo, you'll see it jumps up to almost 0.88 amps. This means the power is going through the battery directly to the light from the power cord. This means this light would be a good emergency light as you could run it from an external power bank even if the internal battery was dead. That is why I have put one of these in each of my cars as a emergency light. Having two emitters also allows the ArcFlex to manage its heat very well and the light does not overheat even when running on turbo. The emitters have a very broad flood-like output. The light does come with a side switch, which is made of metal. The pocket clip for the ArcFlex has been redesigned from the standard that is on the other ArcFeld products. You will see that it is much larger. You will also see that the orientation is the opposite. So where the ArcFeld Pro has a deep carry where none of the light will stick out of your pocket when using the main part of the clip on the arc flex if you use the main part you're still going to have a large portion of the light sticking out now i think olight did this on purpose because if you were to put this into your pocket you want to be able to fold down the flashlight to point 90 degrees straight out this means that if you want to deep carry the arc flex you will need to use the smaller portion of the clip which would then give you a full deep carry using this smaller portion isn't nearly as nice as using the larger 
as the larger portion slides in and out of pockets much easier. The size comparison between the Arcfeld Pro and the Arcflex is the Arcflex is the same size as the previous Arcfeld UV and Arcfeld laser lights, and the Arcflex is the only Arcfeld light that only has a white light. The body of the Arcflex is much more rounded than the previous Arcfelds, it has strong jimping along each side to help with grip. It has a finger cut out on one side and on the opposite, it has the power button. Comparing it to the previous, you see how much rounder it is than the previous Arcfelds, which have a much more square side to them. This does make the Arcflex very nice to hold in the hand. Now let's take a look at the improving grounds and see the Arcflex in action outside. It's a beautiful night in the testing grounds. The stars are out and that tree line that you see there is 100 yards away. This is the Arkfeld Flex. This is low, medium, high, and turbo. As you will see at the end of the outdoor testing, when I was filming the B-roll, I found out that my hood was aluminum when the Arkfeld didn't stick to it and fell to the bottom of the engine bay. It was so far down there, there was no way I was getting it out. So I gave up and I just went ahead and drove home with it still stuck down there, expecting to lose it. To my surprise, when I got home, it was still there stuck to the bottom of the engine block and I was able to fish it out and it literally has no wear whatsoever. So that really impressed me with this light. I have used the light a lot for uh, remodeling uh, my bathroom. So when I replace the light switches, the light fixtures, I had to have the power off. These two arc flexes became in very handy to make sure I was able to see what I was working on. I also used it to fix a light switch in my garage where I had to turn the power off again and I was able to stick the light to the metal entry door and see everything that I needed without any issues. And I also used it to replace a faucet uh, where its small size came in really handy to fit into a very tight space. Obviously there are a lot of other work lights that are available and if that was your full-time job, those might be right for you. If you're a small do-it-yourselfer, having a very small light that is able to be clipped anywhere and point light in any direction is very useful. And the Arcflex has lots of other uses besides just a work or task light. I like the Arcflex so well that I bought it for each of our cars and one for my workshop and EDC pouches. If you would like to compare it with the Arkfeld Pro, please watch my full Arkfeld Pro video here.